there's three things Brian does incredibly well that stand out. One, he has a passion for biology. So he's a pure passion for his content, but he also has a passion for his students. So that coupled with his complete interest um, in instruction is what blends all those three together, which makes him dynamic. And it's those three elements that stand out. So not only does he have a love for bio, he has a love for students, but he constantly pursues way, um, ways to engage them and instruct them, which, which makes him you know, phenomenal. I think I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. And teaching for me was win-win because you get to work with kids, which I enjoyed. Um, I coached wrestling for a long time and, and was got to do that as well. Um, but you're also always learning. And so that's that you can't beat it. He's a tremendously dedicated teacher. Um, and somehow he, he tries to balance the family aspect and his home life with the school life. And the kids love his class, and I it, think it, it just reflects very well on the science department here at Del Castle. We, we've got um, 11 different people who all really take their craft seriously. They love science, and they enjoy passing that passion on to their students. I'm part of a team at this school of amazing teachers. Um, I could never do what I do in the classroom without like kids that work hard and without other teachers that you know are my team members um, without an administration that is willing to finance all the things that that we do here um, and it matters it matters I like the way he teaches because it's like he does a lot of hands-on things and like I like that learning style and like it helps me learn better and he takes the time to actually explain things and let you figure it out for yourself so that you understand things better. I want them to have a more sophisticated view of the world. Um, I want them to be better thinkers, you know, and I want them to, so I, I really, in the context of biology, I think I try to teach kids how to solve problems. I think I try to develop an appreciation for life. I had a list of teachers that I was supposed to go see that day. And when I walked into Brian's class, I became a student all over again. Um, the activities where he's taking chemicals and, you know, flames are going all the way up to the ceiling. First, I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, I hope it doesn't go too high because then it could hit the tile. But Brian does a great job. It stops at the right place. And I was so intrigued by the lesson and participating with the students, I did not get to anyone else the rest of the day. <laughs> As science teachers, we have an opportunity to add tools to the mental toolkit of our children. We do. Not just content. We can teach them sophisticated ways to think and solve problems.